Textiles, you're welcome to class again. This video is meant to support those who are coding using their Android phone for them to know how to import images and how to add their images to their web page. Okay, let's go. So you all know that you need to navigate into the folder you are having your project in. So menu, then workspace. And the coder we are working with is this my tech journey. So it is inside this my tech journey. So if you want to use, if you watch the video I did uh, on VS Code on images and link, you will realize that I taught two methods there. Like you can input your, you can let your image be inside the same folder as your HTML file, or you can let your you can create a separate folder named it images and put all your images there all right so let's do the two now if you want your image to be inside the same folder as your html so this is our html inside my tech journey so definitely it is inside this folder that we are going to put the image for the first method so just come down here and click on plus you have clicked on um, uh, you have clicked on plus now what you're going to click on is import file not new file not new folder or whatever import file then you can pick the file you actually want to pick so in this case we want to pick image let me look for one related image that we can use okay let's go with the channel icon all right so when you have it here now you can highlight it and it's going to bring all these options do you want to compress you want to delete export it or rename it so now it is advisable you rename it so that you can easily remember what you saved it with unlike this long name that it has on title design 2005 so of course you will not want to leave it this way so you need to highlight it and then click on rename then with this rename you can just say channel logo and then rename so this way channel logo.png now another thing you need to take note of is the extension of your image is it dot png is it dot jpg is it dot jpeg so you need to take very close attention to this then the second method is by opening another folder it's a new folder and then name it images the same so it is inside these images that we will import another uh, image into by clicking on the plus icon import file then um pick any file that you like So you can easily click on rename like that, or you did it the way I did it before by highlighting it and coming here to say rename. So what do you want to name this to be? I will just say color dot JPEG. Aha, you can imagine. So this one has the extension of JPEG. So you need to take note color dot JPEG and how you spell the name. So if anything is wrong, from this place that means you are not choosing this exact image and it's not going to show now we can go into our uh code with habiba.html to input that okay so when you just come back into your file it is very easy for you to make error of maybe just starting from after html and put something this is no more the correct thing so you need to always take note that anything you want to write inside your code must be in between body, must be in between the body tags. So this is the, so this is the opening tag of the body and this is the closing tag. So whatever you want to write must be inside it. And this way, I want to start with uh, adding, let me just say, Okay, 
no need of heading let me just pick image and this is where i said you can see a lot of uh structure from all your elements so this one div you are still going to learn that this is anchor tag this is image now we are dealing with image just pick it and it's going to write what you need out for you so to pick the first one that we saved you will just name it the exact name you give it which is the channel channel logo remember it is dot png and this way it's going to pick it straight away because it is inside the same folder as this code with habiba.html let's view it aha so this is it here can you see it so when it is too big like this you can just resize it for now using your html so by adding another attribute like width then give it let's say 200 pixel and then let's go back to check so it's moderate now all right let's pick the other image just come down and come down here to say image again now your source is different your source is you need to access a particular folder before you can access that image so what is the name of that folder you want to access images then slash to say okay go inside images folder and pick can i remember the name of the second okay color and pick color and pick color dot jpeg is it jpg or jpeg let's let me try this so let's see it's not correct so it seems it's jpeg let's see now aha so it's now correct so you can repeat this other what is it called other attributes known as width to resize it and then let me just give this one 100 pixel then don't forget your alt alternative text so alternative text this is going to say okay our channel logo our channel logo and then here i can just say color palette What is wrong? I'm not sure if that's the spell of palette anyway. Okay, so now we can go back to shake and voila, we have our images. You know, I said it when we were doing the Visual Studio, uh, when we were doing how to do the images using the Visual Studio, I told you that images are not block elements. So when you don't add the break for now, when you don't add the break, uh elements to it is not going to come down though by the time you start learning css you don't need to hard break there is a way you can change it to a block element using your css but now in this case we can just add break to this right just using this and then br so come down here i'm going to find them on different line all right, so now you can conveniently import your images either from the same folder as your HTML file or from another folder inside your HTML file. All right, I hope you have learned something today. If you found this helpful as usual, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell so that each time I post a new video, you'll be among the first to be notified. All right, see you. Bye.